let's try to get into some more in details about the server administration here. Now, in the case of server administration, as I said, the, the administrator or the engineer is responsible for setting up the servers, installing the servers and maintaining them. So probably there are different roles the servers can do. Servers are, are compulsory, you know, uh, a mandatory device which actually stores the different types of roles like you know you can maintain multiple servers like primary secondary kind of thing are responsible for storing your files or http servers even the email servers you have ftp servers or you can say http servers the sql database servers probably plenty of things even there is something called active directory like user accounts like like you you log into the company account let's say there is a pc now probably what you do is you log into the computer account you can log in anywhere in your office with your username and the password and this pc is going to redirect the request to an active directory server where you store all your user accounts and you get redirected uh, you you will be allowed to log into the computer only if you provide the correct username and the password so something like authentication kind of thing uh, and also applying some policies like what are the applications you can use what are the applications you cannot use whether you can install any kind of software or not there are plenty of things you can do because you need to control the machines uh, remotely and that can be done uh, from a single centralized place. The different services, you can access the remote servers, remote access from anywhere, anywhere sitting in your home. You can still access your servers and also nowadays you can also virtualize the servers. Now, virtualization deals with uh, you run some one, one physical PC or one physical server box and you run multiple copies of operating system just like virtually having four, six or eight computers, uh, almost like having like that. So that's a concept of virtualization, uh, which is really uh, important nowadays. Anyway, I'll, I'll cover more on this in our next sections. Applications, uh, troubleshooting, maintaining, and you know, maintaining the performance of a network and ensure that it is up and running. Because you're offering some service to the customer or maybe to a company and and make sure that it is up and running. So mainly there are two platforms uh, of jobs. You either specialize or expertize in Microsoft servers. Microsoft offers different server operating systems like currently there is 2012, 2016 operating systems. Like most of the organizations may use either a Microsoft servers or Linux servers. Now, basically you need to either expertize on any one of these roles or maybe both depending upon the requirement. And you have a different certifications like you have Red Hat certifications or you will be called as Microsoft Certified Professional or System Engineer or Solution Expert depending upon the number of certifications you actually possess. Now you can official, you can visit the official uh, Microsoft website to get some more uh, detailed information. So there are different options in that like maintaining the mobility like end, end computers cloud infrastructure leads to virtualization even some other platforms uh, even there is a server related database management as well and application related as well so depending upon or number of certifications you actually add or the skills you add the more scope you have but it is a kind of a basic uh, level job uh, generally we can say uh, initial initial job role you can actually plan if you are planning to start up your career now, even you can go for uh, certifications like the Red Hat certifications are also available. You can either be a Red Hat uh, system administrator levels or Red Hat system admin. Again, it totally depends upon the number of certifications you actually do and, and again based on the experience. So you got some different levels. So depending upon your experience and the certifications you do, the scope, the growth uh, actually depends. But mostly these kind of uh, roles, the server administration, like you will be referred as a network administrator or server administrator, uh, basic desktop support jobs where you are supporting the end user operating system or basic networking kind of thing. So you still need to have a basic networking knowledge for this.